they do in a company with a terrific track record that's riding a powerful long-term theme reports a quarter that Wall Street doesn't applaud. I'm talking about Alliance Data Systems, ADS, the largest and most comprehensive provider of transaction-based marketing and loyalty solutions. In other words, the company is behind boatloads of customer loyalty programs, as well as providing data-driven marketing services and private label retail credit card programs. Think about all those loyalty cards and store-sponsored credit cards that you might have in your wallet. These things have become staples of modern retail as they help merchants connect with their customers while also collecting vast amounts of data on their behavior. And Alliance Data Systems is the king of this stuff. Hence why the stock is up 45% in the past 12 months, up more than 530% over the last five years. But it's only given us a 5.6 gain since we spoke to the CEO back in December. And at $2, at $260.83, stock's nearly $40 off its highs. That's largely because the last time ADS reported mid-April, even though the company beat Wall Street's earnings estimates, the revenues came in a bit light. And more important, their earnings guidance for the second quarter was generally lower than what some of the analysts were expecting. ADS actually raised, though, its full-year forecast. But the second quarter guidance still scared away some investors. Stock plunged from 264 to 245 the next day, down 7%. Since then, though, the stock's been battling right back, $260. And I got to wonder if this means ADS will resume its long march higher after a brief stumble. Uh, well, maybe there's some genuine issues we need to know about. Let's take a closer look with Ed Heffernan. He's the president and CEO of Alliance Data Systems. He got a better sense of where his company is headed. Mr. Heffernan, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Ed. Hey, Jim. Thank okay, you. Okay, Ed, you know, I got to... I think the, the Wall Street's gotten quite jaded because what made me like your company in that quarter is what seemed to scare people. You went out and said the thing you're not supposed to say. We're hiring 1,000 people because we have so much business. Why is that something people don't want to hear? Boy, it's news to me. I think uh, we were all a little bit surprised <laughs> that that type of news would cause some softness in the stock. In fact, we hired a little over 1,000 people because the book is so strong. And, you know, that meant that I think that the earnings were going to be coming in a little bit heavier in the back half as opposed to the front half, and that just didn't fly too well, well obviously. Let's talk about that. Sure. Have we gotten too cynical here? The companies whose stocks have done well in the last four years are companies that fire people and have incremental earnings growth because of buybacks. Now, you've always been a great buyback. No, no offense to that, because you guys have been great at buying your stock back. But I think the important thing here is you've actually got organic growth, which is what I'm looking for in a company. Yeah, our organic growth is, our model is essentially do 3x GDP, and we're running around 9 to 10% orga organic top line. And this year, we expect, along with one of the acquisitions we did, to do about 20 plus top and 20 plus bottom. And after doing 50 something quarters of these releases, I was a little bit surprised well, at the reaction. I know, both banks and MasterCard Visa, they wish they had your, they wish they had your growth. Now, I think people have to understand the advantage that you give. Because talk about a company that doesn't use you versus a company that does, because the results are stark. Sure, if you were to look at, um, and again, we'll, we'll cover a lot of the loyalty programs that are out right. there as well as private label cards, but just take a look at last holiday uh, or even first quarter retail spend, which was moderate at best, mm -hmm. let's say up two, 3%. Right. Um, to the extent you looked at the customers that we had at those retailers using our product, in other words, the private label card right. or the loyalty cards, they were plus eight, plus nine. Oh, that's rather remarkable. And in Europe, they're using your product, and the numbers there are even better. Yeah, the, uh, the European uh, part of the company is doing 20-plus percent uh, organic top line. Right which I kind of thought was good news as well. I thought so, too. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> funny because when you, I know you're coming on, I go back over, I said, well, there's not, you know, I always like to look at what you sure. say first before I look at the stock price because I want to make up my own judgment. Now, one of the things that I think is important is, is that people have to recognize that business wasn't so good, but it seems that business is getting better in the country. Yeah, I think that from, from our perspective, we thought the time was right to really invest uh, in the business, and there seems to have been a little bit of concern about, well, are these guys really going to be able to deliver the, these types of results while investing in the future? And what I think a year or so ago probably would have been a gimme was a bit tougher right. as a harder putt in the first quarter, but now, you know, second quarter's coming, and hopefully people will look at that and say, okay, these guys were right. Howard Schultz has said over and over again that maybe the relationship with the customer at the mall is not working. Uh, it would seem, judging from your 
programs and your information that if you want to re-energize the consumer, you hook up with Alliance data and the results get better. Absolutely, and that's the difference between general retail sales of 2-3% and the 8-9 that we're printing. And, and essentially what we do, as, as you outlined at the beginning of the show, was that we take information about you, your, your transactional history. We layer on uh, things like demographic and psychographic. What are your hobbies? What are the things I like to do? And, and we use that and then communicate to you on an individual basis that gets you jazzed up to go flying back into the store or shopping online. We don't really care right. uh, as long as you're doing one or the other. So what we're finding is the, the consumer is much smarter these days, more educated, and as a result, you need to be more educated about your own consumer. Well, I got to tell you, I think this is just one of those great opportunities. If you don't own the stock, uh, a company that's trying to expand and has to hire to expand is the way it used to be in this country. Those were exactly the kind of stocks I want people to buy. We're expanding again. They should be buying your stock. That's Ed Heffern. He's the Alliance Data Systems president and CEO. This is the kind of growth story you should own for the long term. Don't move. Lightning Round is next.